the did you know series this episode is about the map now you've learnt in school that this is the map of the world do you believe this is what the world actually looks like or do you believe it's completely wrong or is it complicated let's find out Now this map that you are used to seeing is actually called the Mercator projection of the world. The basic format of this map was made by a guy called Mercator, obviously Gerardus Mercator in 1569. Now take a look at this map. It's a representation of the world that you've seen countless times, right? And at first glance it seems accurate. But is it? What if I told you that the sizes of the North American and European countries in this are wrong? This is what you think it looks like and this is what their actual sizes are. You'll notice that India remains the same size. Africa actually appears smaller than it actually is and Russia, US, etc. appear a lot bigger in the Mercator map than they actually are. And of course, the biggest surprise, Greenland. You would think that it's a giant island, almost the same size as Africa. But actually, Greenland is a midget. I'm sure you've heard the joke that the name Greenland is a lie because there's nothing green there. Now we discover that its size is also a lie. So why does this distortion happen? Look, the Earth is essentially a globe. And when we attempt to project that sphere, a three-dimensional sphere, into a two-dimensional plane, we run into an inherent problem. Flattening a ball is no small feat. Imagine trying to flatten a perfectly sculpted gulab jamun, a tasty gulab jamun, without losing its structure. Or look at this piece of orange. Look at it. How do you fit this? on a paper, on a two-dimensional paper while showing the entire surface area of the said orange. You can't represent every inch accurately without distortion. It is simply not possible. Look, over the years, several methods have been developed to tackle this issue. Okay, So we've already discussed the Mercator projection, which was made by a guy called Mercator, obviously. Honestly, this Mercator projection is helpful for navigation since it maintains angles and shapes but it stretches the countries near the poles making them appear overly large basically the mercator projection keeps the shapes accurate but distorts the size i'm sure that since this map made all the european and north american countries seem much bigger than they actually are it made them like this map that much more basically it is a Eurocentric map. Another option is the Gaul Peters projection. Now look at this map. On this map, you will discover that the sizes of the continents and countries are much closer to what they truly are. However, the trade-off is that the shapes can look quite distorted. Net-net, you can never have a completely accurate two-dimensional map of the entire Earth. It is impossible. There will always be some distortion. It's like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. It may get in there, but it doesn't look quite right. So when we choose one projection over another, we are asking ourselves, what's more important? Preserving shapes or preserving sizes? It's a classic what's in a name situation. But in this case, we are asking what's in a map? <laughs> you must have heard that joke, right? Why don't maps ever get lost? Because they always know where they are. Or do they? What do you believe? Leave comments below. If you enjoyed this episode, like and share it please. And if you want to receive the notification for the next episode, click subscribe please. Thank you.